Hello. I'm River. I'm an artist and writer, and I'm a bit of an idiot, so temper your expectations accordingly. Today, we are going to have a soft spoken Easter egg eating. I'm far too excited about this, so I apologize. Easter egg eating. We're going to eat some Easter eggs. That's what we're going to do here. So, I have a delightful assortment for us to go through, but I thought we might start with this crinkly one, just wrapped up in tin foil. My house smells so much of chocolate right now. It has that really perfumey, vanilla-y smell to it. I think it might be worth just starting. Two on there. I remember when I was little, the difficulty in getting into these, just insane. And the skill over the years in just managing to split them in half, I found that was something quite, I don't know, it felt like you had more Easter egg if you just managed to split it. And I think nowadays, kids, oh, oh, I might have spoken too soon. Have it slightly easier. Oh, it's a little bit warm. I wish you could smell that smell right now. That is. Mmm. So sweet and naughty. Mmm. My hands. <laughs> I've been so excited. My hands are warm. I need to go cool down my hands. <laughs> One second hands suitably chilled. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm gonna play with the tin foil. And I did get some little baby eggs. Just there. 
little bubbies. Just want to feel what noises they make as they bump against. Mm. It was a lot chunkier than I was expecting. Hmm. seen videos where someone gets some aluminium foil and they scrunch it up so 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 small and then they build it up layer on layer and then they polish it they polish it so gently that it just kind of Turns into this glassy orb. It's amazing patience. I'm not sure if I have the kind of patience. And the thing is, belly minute, things like that. It's never quite the same once you unwrap it. I'm sure someone with that kind of patience could easily smooth this out. I do not. I'm thinking about chocolate. I know what I've got there. I'm really excited about one of them especially. It is... Mm. This, which has just bitted down my sleeve. Who made this rocket ship? Okay. Makes a really good hollow noise and I'm going to pretend it isn't still shedding. Oh, they're crunchy. I was not expecting that. I don't know what this is now. Mmm. You can hear that all falling to the floor. Mm. I like this one. It's um it's coffee flavour. Mm. I always just love that noise. 
It was noisier than I anticipated. When you just snap it off. And it makes that hollow noise. Mm. My hands are getting warm again. One second. I wondered what it would sound like in my voyage to the kitchen to cool down my hands with a spoon tapping it. Should we try? I remember when I was little, I always used to try and make it last as long as possible. And it was the saddest thing when you'd end up with the little bottom and it was just the roundest part of the egg and you knew if there were no flat sides anymore, you had eaten it already. Mm. Got a bit of my um my leg. My dad has a story of when he and his sister were little. It's a very typical big brother story. And he used to always trick his sister into a race to eat whatever sweets they had, whether it was chocolate or sweets. You go, can't you finish? Can't you f beat me? Like, eat them faster. So she would. She would eat all her sweets, all her chocolate. And then my dad, he would go, oh, but I've got all this left. And it was the meanest, cleverest trick. What child does that? Obviously, my dad. Mm. Should we just break some bits off for fun? There's another big bit on the floor. A bit flip. Somewhere. naughtiest thing, okay? I promise I'll eat it later. Oh, it's a, it's a tough bit.
side. Mm. Oh my no. Oh, the noise. It's really high pitched now. Hmm. Somewhat overzealous. But wait. There's more. I feel like the demon would be having a lot of fun with this right now. It's me. Um, but Easter. <coughs> Ooh. That is a snack. It's quite nice chocolate. I'm just going to get them all out now, but I'm really sorry. Hmm. I may need to give myself some mercy or unwrap some of these. I could lick them, that's a whole other video. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I ate it. Oh no, I didn't intend to eat it. <laughs> My lap is coated in bits. Mm. It's a little bit bra line in the centre. Mm. 
I hope there are many of you out there who have at some point in your life stumbled across Matilda. <laughs> Is it Derek Bogtrotter? The boy, Miss Trunchbull, makes eat an entire chocolate cake made out of Cook's um, sweat and blood. I feel a bit like I need a montage. <laughs> not going to make myself a montage mm. but I have to stop eating mm. happy Easter everyone I hope you've had a wonderful time and um, yes <laughs> I've eaten a lot of chocolate I feel a bit queasy. Positive affirmations. That's where it's at. Not, not you know, making yourself a little bit sick. Um, anyway, I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you later. Don't be an idiot. I can't make that way. I can't make that my outro. That's not... can't just tell people not to be an idiot. Because... <laughs> Don't be me. <laughs> you eat too much chocolate on on and go. Yes, I'm gonna put this on you. I'm still eating it. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>